The Book of Jonah Author The details of the author is unknown. Though the book is about Jonah it was written later by an unknown author. There is no evidence that Jonah himself has written the book. The Book of Jonah The date of publishing is uncertain. Jonah ministered and prophesied during the reign of Jeroboam II of Israel. Most probably written after the Babylonian exile in the 5th or 6th century. Collected as one of the twelve minor prophets in the Old Testament. Tells about the Hebrew prophet Jonah, son of Amittai. Summary Written primarily in the third-person narrative, it starts with the word of God which came to Jonah, son of Amittai. God asked Jonah to go to Nineveh and preach to the people as their wickedness went before to God. But ignoring that Jonah went to Joppa and got a ticket to go to Tarshish by ship. On seeing Jonah moving to Tarnish the God sent a violent storm. The sailors were scared and threw the cargo into the sea to lighten the ship. Jonah was sleeping in the lower deck of the ship and he was woken up by a sailor. Then the sailors casted Lot to find out the person responsible for the calamity and the Lot fell on Jonah. He accepted that he is the reason for the calamity and asked the sailors to throw him into the sea to make the sea calm. The men prayed to God not to have curse on them for throwing Jonah into the sea and threw him and the sea became calm. God provided a huge fish to swallow Jonah and he was there in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights. In the belly of the fish Jonah prayed to God and praised him for saving him in the realm of death. He confessed the sin of disobedience and believed that salvation comes only from the God and assured to obey God. God made the fish to vomit Jonah to the shore of the dry land. The word of God came to Jonah for the second time asking him to go to the city of Nineveh and proclaim the message given to him to the people of Nineveh. It took three days for Jonah to go through the city and proclaim the words of the God. He prophesied that forty more days and Nineveh will be overthrown. As the nine Vites believed God they listened to him and started to put on sackcloth to get off the curse. The news reached the king and he too took off his royal robes and covered himself with sackcloth and sat down in the dust. All living beings in the city went on fasting and give up their evil ways and violence to stop the curse of God. When God saw the change in them and how they turned from their evil ways, he relented and stopped the destruction he had threatened. On seeing the action of God Jonah became very angry. He prayed to God and asked God to take away his life as God has made a decision not to destroy Nineveh. Then he moved to the east of the city and made a shelter for himself and waited to see what will happen to the city. God provided a leafy plant to grow over Jonah to give shade to him to ease him from his discomfort and he was happy. In the next morning God provided a worm to destroy the plant and it withered and the strong sunlight blazed on the head of Jonah which made him feel more angry and fell to die. God asked him is it right to be angry on the plant and he replied that he is angry and wished to die. God said to Jonah that he is concerned of a plant which grew overnight and died overnight, even though he has not made the plant grow. God asked Jonah whether it is right to destroy Nineveh, a city where more than a hundred and twenty thousand people and many animals live. God said that as Jonah is concerned of a plant that grown and died by itself it is God who has created the city and the lives there and so he is very much concerned about it. It is clear through the book that disobedience is not considered to be a human order and the punishment is very strong for those who are disobedient like Jonah. The Creator has a great concern on the creations and He needs all the creation to lead a happy and successful life without being evil or doing harm to anyone. For more videos, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.